look at me. Hi, I'm Kate, and I am undateable in Los Angeles. This sums up about 90% of the messages I get on dating apps while in LA. I said a simple sup, and he said, fingering a grapefruit. It's quite the leap. Unwilling to even consider the possibility that maybe it's me, I figure somewhere in America I've got to be dateable, and I'm going to find that city. We're going to rate each city on the following criteria. Number of matches, overall price of the city, and is it a fun place to be single in? First up, San Francisco. The land of tech. Tech land. Land of the app. My theory is that I will get more matches in San Francisco, and my hope is that even if I don't, it's still a fun city to be single in. Here in the airport, getting ready to fly to San Francisco to hopefully get some dates. Open to all the possible rejections. <laughs> The second we landed in San Francisco, I immediately started swiping. San Francisco's International Airport. I started swiping. I started swiping right on just about everybody except for people who look incredibly creepy. I found that putting exactly what I'm looking for in my bio is helping me get the matches that I wanted. If you want a certain thing, put it in your bio. That's what it's for. That's good. And then just let them come to you. Did I figure out dating? Am I gonna fucking fall in love right now? <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting a billion messages. This guy, who we had a delightful conversation. I was like, wow, this is gonna be easier than I thought. And then he goes, what are your thoughts on hung men? <laughs> Listen, do what you wanna do. I just, I felt, I felt weird. You guys, you should get it. <laughs> While I was waiting for all of the date results to come in, I decided to go and ask some locals what they thought about dating in San Francisco. So here we are in San Francisco at the most famous bridge that we could afford to film in front of, the Bay Bridge. So we're gonna go and ask some people what it's like to date in San Francisco and hopefully get a date. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Ooh, church bills. I am here with... Uh, Andrew. How would you describe dating in San Francisco? <laughs> uh whole bunch of sex, not a whole lot of dates. So I'm gay, uh -huh. and San Francisco is like playground. Sure. Yeah, people coming through all the time, so everyone is constantly like looking for somebody else. Got so it. Other cities, a little calmer, a little more chance for a relationship. Here's just fun. Any tips for someone dating just for a few days in San, in Francisco. San Francisco? You can be as honest and crude as you want. Oh, um, <laughs> Uh, get on Grinder. I made a mental note to get onto Grinder, and we moved on. My first date was with Mark at the Comstock Saloon. Well, awesome. thank you for meeting me here. <laughs> thank you for having me here. Yeah. I was a little nervous for this date. Oh, you didn't grow up uh, here. No, I did. Well, I moved here when I was 13. Okay. From Egypt. Oh, cool. And then when he showed up, he was taller and better looking than I thought he was going to be, which made me even more nervous. Would you surf if you were close to the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I mean, I'm comparing it to the beaches in Egypt. Oh. Look, oh, yeah. You look, look, tell me about that. Egypt is beautiful. Yeah. Like, um, just being in at like the pyramids or like all these ancient monuments, you're just like wow. Right there, I was actually looking up pictures of Egypt. I was not just on my phone. I just want everyone to know that I was not being rude. You're it was really nice. Say, we agreed on yeah, most so things. If that means that I will get, we got like a couple drinks, and shots. Exactly. The conversation kept going. It just felt yeah, like it kept will. building. Yeah, fuck it. What is it gonna do? We're watching Kate's date. I think he's trying to get the butt. Uh, he's been saying yes to everything, agreeing to everything, and he got the second drink. Um, truth be told, there wasn't the biggest spark. Uh. It was a good, definitely a good icebreaker. And I was excited to see what other dates were going to happen. Well, thank you so much. This was a delight. Kate, okay, the pleasure is all mine. Take all right, care. we'll get home safely. All right. Okay, thank Take you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I think one of the reasons that dating is so hard is that I'm, I try to be a really good date before I try to like really connect with this person. So I sort of prevent bad dates by like being a chameleon to whoever I'm near. So my goal for today is to not do that. So some of the things that I definitely like about internet dating is that I could date in bed while I'm bloated. You think they'll notice I haven't shaved my legs because I didn't, I didn't, I also didn't bring a razor. Also, this isn't how I'd like my hair to look for today. But, you know, I just didn't bring a straightener. Just do your thing. I'm following you.
The second date was with Nick at Mary Ann's, a speakeasy style bar. You had to like know a password to get in. Very cool, very nice bar. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Nick. I'm Kate, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Thanks for meeting me here. Well, thanks for coming on a date with me. <laughs> wow, this place is really fancy. Yeah. What do you like look for in people? What's your type? I don't think I really have a type, to be totally honest. I would pretty much go up to anyone. <laughs> I don't think that cool. I'm like very uncomfortable uh -huh. with other people, which is probably a good thing. Yeah. But it could also be really bad if the person's shy. I'm like, hey, how are you? Like, yeah. Well, like, no, please, too much. I really appreciate when people call out that something is awkward instead of just plugging along like it's not awkward. And he was like, oh, this is kind of weird. I was like, it is weird. Because it is weird to date on camera and to date at all. It's just the whole thing's weird. I think the date's going really well. Would you ever consider dating someone you work with? Yeah. I mean, if it, yeah, I guess. I think that's like the best way to meet people though. It's like at work or at some sort of like, I'm joined a rock climbing gym and that's my hope is to meet someone there, but yeah. it has not happened. I don't I know. I joined a kickball league. So You're like, not gonna find anyone in kickball. Ooh. I don't know if you agree. Would you prefer to have someone that's like, hey, I haven't grown up yet. I'm like uh -huh. still a kid, but or would you rather have someone be like, oh. Did, I, did you have that in your profile? Or it was like, hey, like, I'm a video producer, so I'm employed, but yeah. like, I'm in touch with my inner like child. Got it. So what I think you, in what touch you with your prefer? inner child is better than saying, I'm still a little kid. It's just weird, it's a yeah. weird, it's a, you gotta be selective when you yeah. throw those words yeah. around. You can't really put little kid in your Tinder bio. Yeah. It's creepy. Yeah. We should totally hang out if you have time and you, Feel like hanging out with me again if I didn't blow this. You blew it. How'd I do? Sorry, me, but you blew it. Give me like a Please grade. Please leave, you blew it. I'm just kidding. I'd give you a grade? Give me, give me a grade if you were gonna grade. Are you kidding me? At the end of your dates, if you were gonna grade your dates. But honestly, like hard, hard grade. <laughs> I don't wanna grade you. <laughs> One to 10, scale. One to 10? I wanna evaporate. <laughs> I wanna melt into the wall. <laughs> I think you were, you were batting about a, an eight. And now I'm I'm gonna have to knock you down to six for for asking me to grade you. You know, I can always live with the fact that I was I was an eight at some point, but oh my I god, a twelve out of ten. So wow, now I feel like a dick. Overall, it was a good date. I had a good time. Thanks See for ya. having me, Kate. And hopefully, when you come back to SF, we can hang out again. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, All right. see you later. See ya. Fun at work. That date went, in my mind, way better than last night. Last night was cool, but I felt like I wasn't trying too hard this time. I was like letting it be awkward where it needed to be awkward. And he was really nice. So after the second date, we decided to go out and explore the city to see if it was even a fun city to be in. And it turns out it is. What a delight. What do you guys like most about San Francisco? I love the diverse community. Really wanted to just set up shop and stay there forever. You guys go on dates? Um. Not really. Not really. <laughs> a lot of great Instagram backgrounds here. Every which way you looked, a lot of color. There was a nice little coffee shop. Mmm, I could talk about it all day. A lot of hills. What's it like to date in San Francisco? We got handsome men out here, beautiful women. <laughs> Come in San Francisco. You see my host right here, she's beautiful too, see? Wow, this is my favorite intersection of any intersection probably ever. Look at that place is pretty. I like that. I want to go there. My third date was with Jake at the Interval. The Interval was a really great place. Loved it. Very nice decor, great staff, very good drinks. The date was, well, you'll see. Hello. Hey, Kate. Nice to see you. Thanks nice for coming. Nice to see you, absolutely. Welcome. Have you been here before? I have not, it's my first time. Interesting, I feel like we should get a drink first. That's a great idea. Okay, what do you drink? I will do an old fashioned. Aha, uh -huh. cheers. So, I have my own company and just decided to bring it out here. Ooh, look, at there's a bug on the, this thing. See it? It's like a little mosquito right there. No, that's, that's one of my favorite things about Houston, is this, the, bugs. the Houston bird is a mosquito. Really? You're not gonna laugh at that? Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Sorry. You know, sometimes you just don't connect at all with someone, like at all. So have you been on internet dating for a while? This is my first internet date, actually. Really? Yeah, my. Okay. You're so gullible, like what? <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you're right, I am gullible. 
This is not going well. This dude sucks. So I recently found out that there are five pictures you could use on your online dating profile that will help you get matches. It is you doing something active, you hanging out with friends to prove you have friends, you with an animal, usually a dog, you dressed fancy, and then one picture of you dancing with either your mom or your grandma, something like that. This guy had four out of those five pictures and the dog wasn't his. Now, what was your worst date? Worst date? Yeah. Well, this one time I went out with this girl that was working for BuzzFeed. No, I'm just kidding. Got it. <laughs> Fair. Sometimes you do run into people that are only seeing you just because they know that you have more money than them and uh -huh. they would like for you to buy everything for them. I ran into one of those recently, probably like a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she was telling me how she wanted a sugar daddy and how. And I, t I told her too, I was like, well, is that all you have to offer? Is it just a pretty face? <laughs> I bet that didn't. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not what I'm looking for. So right, I'm yeah, not, of course. I'm not trying to yeah. know, pick up a sugar baby. What, how much more time do we have to be here before cleaning up? What time is it? It is 9.17. We do not have time for one more drink. Wow. Needless to say, there wasn't going to be a second date. One, because I don't live in San Francisco, and two, because we did not hit it off at all. And I don't feel bad saying that. Normally I would, but I don't feel bad saying that because he did, in fact, unmatch me real soon after the date. After that date, we decided to go to a local bar to see if I could flirt with people in person. This was my nightmare. <laughs> I'm here at the makeout room. I'm gonna go in and begrudgingly uh, flirt with young hip people and see if I can't find me some dick. I'm gonna try to flirt with people for real in real life. Going out in a different city and flirting is, I think, easier than flirting in the place where you live because you could vacation flirt, which is be the best possible version of yourself without ever having to back it up long term. However, it was a like a Tuesday night and they weren't biting, let me tell ya. Cheers, no one. I'm a one for four. And the only guy who I got to actually talk to me was the guy who wanted to be interviewed. It did not go as expected. Turns out, I actually might be better online than I am in person. Fine. Know your strengths. Yeah. I'm losing faith. I'm gonna be alone. Whatever. It's easier. So my fourth date was with Riyadh at the aquarium. Very fun location. He was on a shark tank. And we went to the aquarium and that was not on purpose. It just so happened that that was the time he was free. The same day that we were going to the aquarium. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming, glad you found the place. Yeah, of course, of course, good cool. to see you. You too? All right. All right, uh, ready to go to the aquarium? Yeah, I wanna see some fish. Okay, Sushi, cool. you know, that kind of stuff. Gross. Pretty cool. What's your favorite fish to eat? I think tuna is my favorite. Tuna, like spicy tuna? Yeah. Okay, good, That's deal. Like yours. Spicy oh, tuna really? is up there. Up yeah. there, what's your fave? Shrimp tempura. Do oh, you I... date often? Dating, yeah, not uh, nothing really in the works. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of more of a secondary thing. Got it. it looks so. It's pretty cool. big. Super big. Oh, it's a sh type of shark, maybe. Look at the fins. Oh. Do you want to see what it's like to be in a fish tank? Yeah, let me get my head in there. Looks cool, you look really small. I do. Yeah. I feel small. Looks cool, do you want a picture? It's gone. It uh, wasn't the best date, we didn't really mesh. Um, yeah, we were just on like two different planes, really. Um, God love them, you know? <laughs> Good move. So I what's like, like an ideal date for you? Something to break the ice like this, and then yeah, get some cool. food or drinks. I think ideally it wouldn't be with a camera. Yeah. They're actually their own separate family, and a very primitive fish. Been around Got it. 200 million years. Haven't changed. Much. I've been in a shark tank before. <laughs> he he was on. Shark a literal, tank. a literal. Really? Oh, nice. Not not a not a real. Tank. Oh. That was just. A, I was just a bad joke. Oh, okay. I, I'm I'm really good at bad jokes. Oh, seagulls are my favorite. 
until they shit on you. No, I love you. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, here's good luck. Ooh, what's that? What was what? Float, do you see that thing floating? It might be trash. True, true, might be. Looks like a, maybe a water bottle or something. Anywho, well, this was fun, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was fun. Cool. Glad we saw the fish. Yeah, that was fun, good date. Yeah, it was pretty good. What do you think? He was okay. He talked a lot about himself and didn't really follow through on conversations. It was kind of awkward. Okay, so we're on the way back, uh, back to LA, and this is how I would rate San Francisco. Number of matches, 245. How expensive was it? It was very expensive. Is it a good place to be single? Yeah, if you have a lot of money. Uh, San Francisco is great, it wasn't perfect. I went on more dates in three days than I have in the past three months, so. I learned a lot about how I present myself physically. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a hunter, a slouch. I need to sit up, stand up straight. Um, I close myself off a whole lot. And um, I make rough faces. <laughs> so, I, where should we go next? Maybe Seattle. I was told Nashville. I was also told Butte, Montana. I'm really, you know what? At this point, I'm fielding no offers. So you guys just you let me know. Ah, got hair in my mouth though, that last bit. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>